to all the faculty members. Uh, I am here to uh, present a small video on uh, how to use the easily available software uh, to make uh, good and effective uh, video lectures uh, so that we can uh, transfer them to the students uh, in the present ongoing scenario wherein uh, physically being with them uh, in the classroom is not possible due to the lockdown situation. Uh, so uh, let me just uh, not waste much of the time and uh, start with the uh, actual thing. Now, before I start with uh, the usage of uh, the recording system, let me just tell you that you will have to download two softwares and install them. Both these softwares are, uh, what you say, uh, simple, easy, and uh, available for free of cost. So these are a kind of freewares. Uh, you can download them. So one of them is Active Presenter and the other one is Handbrick. So to download them or uh, to get them, what you can do is uh, for Handbrick, the URL is uh, handbrake.fr. And once you go through that, you can download it from this. Download Handbrake 1.3.1, okay, for Windows 7, 8.1 and 10, 64 bit. And then if you are uh, going for this uh, uh, video capturing one, so that is done by Atomis, uh, atomisystem.com, that is Active Presenter, okay? So you can click download, and once you do that, you'll be given an option of uh, various versions. So out of that various versions, uh, that is you have uh, got 6.16, 7.5.13, and 8.04, you can select the recent one, okay? And if you're using a Mac operating system, you can download it over here. So the URLs, I'll be sharing it in the description box for uh, you to uh, click them and directly download. So once that is done, now let us move to how to actually start with the Active Presenter. Now the uh, user interface for Active Presenter does not uh, allow me to show the system when the recording is taking place. And also you will not be able to see yourself on the laptop uh, when the recording is uh, going on. So for that purpose, what I have done is I have captured the snaps and pulled in a PPT and I'll be showing you and going through the PPT at the same time. Now, one more advantage of that is uh, you'll be able to also understand that uh, during uh, explaining PPT, how can you go side by side with your lecture over here? Okay, so let me start with this. So say that uh, this is the presentation uh, that you'll be handling for your class or something. So you'll have uh, your slides opening and then once you click over uh, say the active presenter, this will be the screen what you will get to see. Now, once you see this, you have several options over here, right from blank project, record video, record software simulation, responsive project, and so on. Now, my motive over here is to just uh, explain you the simplest way of making videos. I'm not going to handle the whole software thing to you. The only thing what is necessary, I'll be telling that. So either you can go and click this blank project or you can click record video. Now, say if you have clicked the blank project, what will happen is you will get this screen, okay? On this screen, you will see this button saying record screen. Now, the moment you click over that record screen, the dropdown will give you an option of record video, which you can click. Otherwise, you can directly go and click this record video. In both the cases, what will happen is you will get this first toolbar, what you can see in front of me, okay? So, what are the things on this toolbar that you will have to use? Number one, you have got a recording button. So the moment you click over here on the recording button, it will give you three seconds to prepare yourself. And after that, you will be having uh, your recording session started. Then you have got uh, the volume, uh, you know, the toolbar, or uh, the volume, uh, you know, the icon, wherein uh, you can control your input volume. You can minimize it or you can maximize it. Then say that you want to completely mute uh, your microphone. You can anyways do it by clicking on this. So the moment you click on this, this will turn from green to gray and your audio will be off. Okay, so kindly note that when you're doing your recording, your audio is on. Okay, and upon that, you have a drop down over here. When you click on this, you will get the input uh, selection and uh, input selection from your microphone and input selection from the system. So you can keep the system thing off if you're doing it through your headset or something, or you can keep it on. So that option, I'm leaving it to you. And the next thing is very important because some of the faculty may feel that, you know, I don't want to uh, show myself for my lecture. 
uh, when I'm giving the PPT. So at that moment of time, you can just click over here. And once you click over here, this will be gray and your uh, webcam will be shut off. Now, all these things have to be done in the initial period only. You cannot do it in between when you are doing your lecture. Okay, so all these settings, you have to do it in the initialization stage. Okay, now uh, this is the preview. Uh, suppose say this is on. This is the preview. It will show you what is the area that is getting covered. And if that is okay for you, you can continue. Because once you start recording, as I said, your screen will be just like as if, uh, you know, like uh, you are not recording at all. It will be simple and plain and you will have your normal screen. Okay, <clears throat> then you have got uh, this option saying the pixelized to be set. Don't touch it. Let it be like this. Okay, then you have got either you can go for a full screen mode or a custom mode. Now, suppose say uh, out of this whole screen, I don't want to cover the left half, only the right half. Uh, okay, and that moment of time, I can go for custom screen and then uh, just like how you crop images, okay, you can crop the window and only that portion of the screen will be covered. But my suggestion to you is go for the full screen because later on anyways, you can edit however you want. If you go with this, uh, it will be a double work kind of thing. Okay, fine. So I hope uh, these particular things are explained very well to you. Now let us uh, move on to the next thing. Now, once uh, when you are uh, recording, say that uh, there may be three things what can happen. One is uh, suddenly uh, you may feel to pause because you may have to breathe in between or you may need to drink water or something like that. At that moment of time, you have a toggle button over here, play and pause, okay? So if you click it once, it will be pausing you. And once you click it back, it will resume your recording. OK. And then you have got a stop button, which I'll tell you later. Uh, we'll go to the cross button. Now, the cross button is suppose say that uh, when you are recording, because uh, this is a recording, and I am very sure that you know, uh, giving lecture physically to students and giving lecture on video is two different things. Because we may not have that feel when we are teaching to a blank camera okay, without any student. So we may end up in doing some mistakes or we may uh, end up in you know being sometimes like too much of uh, conscious and all those things. So during that, we may feel that we need to discard this or we may need to recapture or something. At that moment of time, you can go for this cross button. Now, when you press this cross button, it will not discard it completely all of a sudden. You'll be given these three options. Either you can continue or you can recapture or you can discard. Now, say that uh, you feel that whatever errors you have done is a very minute or very minor kind of thing and you would like to carry on with what you are doing, you can simply click uh, say continue and uh, say that you, no, 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 I want to go for a reshot or something and that moment of time you can give recapture and then you say, no, I would be doing it a little later because I I'm not thinking or I'm not able to give the uh, lecture at present, I will have to prepare some more and I'll give it a little later. At that moment, you can say discard and close the system. Okay, so that is what uh, the cross button does. Now, suppose say you are done with all those uh, lecture capture and now you are ready to process the video of what you have uh, captured. That moment you can click on this particular button, say stop. The moment you say stop, what you will see on the screen is like this. Okay, now what you observe over here is that it's only the screen. You don't see any of my picture over here. That says that I had kept the webcam off and uh, it's only the you know uh, laptop screen that was visible to the audience. Now suppose say, no, I want both the things together. That is how you are seeing me right now. Okay, at that moment, your uh, screen will be like this. Okay, now say that uh, you want to resize your uh, image. What you can do is you just click over here on your uh, photo. And at that moment of time, you will get some uh, dots over here at the corners of this uh, square box. And then you can pull them over, okay, to whatever dimension you want. Now, suppose say you have pulled them and it has crossed this, uh, you know, uh, border. So don't worry about that. It will automatically adjust uh, to that uh, border areas, okay? Now, yet uh, one more thing what you should note over here is that uh, if you see this complete scenario, it is very much similar to PowerPoint. Okay, so that's why I said it's a very easy software. It looks very much similar to PowerPoint. You have got which font you can use and all those things is here. Okay, and apart from that, what you can see is the bottom part is something similar to Movie Maker if someone has already used them. Okay, 
so it is a combination of uh, microsoft powerpoint and the movie maker system so that is how this becomes the efficient and effective tool for making the lecture capture that's what i believe okay so once this is done the next thing what comes into picture is uh, you can preview them you can just play them okay uh, in a sequence and see whether the audio and the video are in match if there is some kind of lag you can adjust it over here lag is very less uh, and uh, you know little adjustment can help you out in that so once that is done what you can do is you can move to the export stage now the moment i click to the export stage what happens is i will get the option saying uh, i can store this videos in this format so out of all these what i would uh, suggest is either go for the youtube or you can go for video uh, now the moment you click on the youtube mode what you will get is this screen yes obviously if you are a first time user you will not get uh, this screen you will get a sign in mode over here so what you can do is you can sign in over there using your uh, uh, gmail account okay and that is how it is linked to your youtube and every youtube has got its own youtube channel space so you you already have a youtube channel space wherein you can get it connected and once you do that you can give the title and the description just like how you give the extract for your articles and then tag just like how you give the keywords for your articles so it becomes easy for people to search it out and then i have given the category as the education education and the privacy policy as public so once uh, this whole thing is completed then you know you can just say okay and when you say okay this complete video will be uh, saved in one of your folder uh, generally in the videos folder okay which is there in your system then the other thing is uh, if you click video okay if you click video what you will see is you will get this toolbar now please see that you don't meddle with this toolbar too much i will just tell you what are the things over here frame rate you don't meddle keep it as 30 quality you make it as 100 okay this part is for your audio system so keep it as stereo mode don't keep it as mono keep it as stereo and 128 uh, kbps is sufficient now uh, i hope that you know you saw in our first slide over here uh, that the size is 1366 into 768 pixels so if you are going to save it in a 100% mode the video size is going to be very large so let us reduce it uh, either you can keep it as 56 or 52 or uh, you can even keep it as 35 if you keep it as 35 it will be like a 480 pixel uh, video okay that is uh, pretty decent uh, for a video lecture and then what you have to note is that you have kept it as mp4 or wmv but my suggestion is keep it as mp4 uh, don't go for mpeg mpg or avi because that will lead you to go for a higher uh, size files and then you can choose browse okay select the folder where you want to store it rename uh, name it okay now currently it is showing untitled uh, once you name it then that particular thing you say okay and the processing starts so that's all how you record the particular video and uh, store them okay now once you do that what happens is let me go through that okay once you do that what you will see is you go to your folder okay where you have stored it now say for my case i have stored it over here okay so you can see lecture 21 rb okay now when i stored it in mp4 for format for the 25 minutes video it was the size if you see is something like 428 mb okay let me just show you that properties i'm sorry for a slow system yeah not 428 it is 418 mb okay so 418 mb of video it becomes very tough for one to send it through email or whatsapp so you know that is not a good option to do that though you have done a very good lecture and all those thing you have conveyed the message but it all goes in waste if you are not able to send them to the student community so if you want to do that particular thing you need to reduce it but on the other hand you have to see that the quality of it does not get reduced so i found a very good software for that that is your handbrake okay so once you click over this handbrake this is the screen what you get what you have to do is you have to just go to that particular video select it drag it and place it over here fine it's very quick okay it does not take much time so once you do that what are the options that you have to do i'll just explain them go to presets go to devices go to android 720 pixel 30 okay 
correct once you do that don't touch dimension don't touch filters go to video see that it is h.264 into 264 keep it like that this particular thing you reduce it nearly to 25 let me tell you that all these things i went through various videos before telling you and uh, i'm just compiling all those things and giving this uh, tutorial video in one shot okay and then frame rate it would be good if you keep it at 24 and then uh, the encoder preset you just make it as very fast okay so this combination is sure to reduce your uh, video size but without affecting much to your quality then go to your audio and convert this to mp3 and make it as 128 let it be stereo okay and then what you do is browse same thing what you did for your uh, active presenter choose whatever name you want okay it is saving in mp4 but in mv m4v format okay and then say save now i'm not giving that save option because i have already encoded and then once that is done you just give the button start encode i'll tell you that the whole video of 25 minutes it may take nearly 8 to 10 minutes maximum for it to compress now let me show you what happened after compressing so this is the uh, video which was compressed tutorial so you see the properties i have reduced it to 73 mb okay it was initially 418 which i reduced in one pass to 200 something and then in the third pass i reduced it to 75 and you need not go much below than this okay because uh, for 75 mb it takes hardly 10 to 15 minutes for you to upload in your youtube then what you can do is check the quality okay i'll show you the quality of uh, both you may be thinking that it's compressed so the quality would have gone so just uh, you know for confirmation i'm showing you this is the 418 mb uh, video okay you see the quality of the slides over here introduction to work measurement everything is clearly visible okay now i'll show you the file which was compressed <clears throat> and this is the one which was compressed so you can see there is no much problem uh, maybe a little bit of smudging but then it's okay because you have reduced from 418 to 75 mb that is a good compression and the quality is still the same so that was the use of uh, your handbrake now i'll be posting out my uh, whatsapp number Uh, which is also my call number in the description box along with uh, the urls of uh, handbrake and uh, active presenter so that uh, it will be very useful for you to directly download uh, those two from the description box itself and then uh, if you have any kind of doubts any queries uh, you can whatsapp me or call me to my number uh, which is again there in the description box if you don't have it saved with you so i'm sure that uh, this small video will surely help you to make uh, good lecture videos for the student community and thank you very much for patiently listening to this uh, i hope uh, everyone is safe uh, you and your family be safe and uh, take care of yourself thank you